you know, ohana means family in Hawaiian. And there's no better way to bring your ohana together than through yoga and outdoor activities. Well, here to tell us about the Ohana Fest and to show us some family-friendly yoga moves are Jody Holland and Angela Taylor. Hey, you two, how you doing? Good, how are you today? Good. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Ohana Fest, Jody. Oh, well, okay, Angela. <laughs> Well, Ohana Fest is a family yoga and outdoor activity festival at mm -hmm. Hunt Club Farms. It'll be April 28th and 29th, and there's a little bit of something for everybody. Um, we have yoga for everybody from babies mm. all the way through seniors. Families can practice together. Um, it's, it's an amazing time, though. There's food trucks, music, nice. a little bit of everything. Jody, tell me why Ohana Fest. I mean, what does it do? What is its mission? It, well, it's our mission is to, people tend to go out now and they spend time on their devices right. and they don't have that face-to-face -face time so what we want them to do is get outside it's very important to have a healthy lifestyle and being outside does that and also to help unite our community bring people together display what we have to offer here and um, show your family you know spend like I said spend that quality time we're just really excited and to be able to offer that wonderful and when you're putting the kids together you use this as like a demonstration right. a metaphor yeah really. absolutely Tell me how you use that okay so um, we have these like little seeds here and that's like the person and we're going to put the uh, potting soil in. That's their surroundings. So mm -hmm. once we dip the little seed in, then they have to have water and sunlight. That helps them grow, and it will teach them how to take care of themselves, their bodies and their minds. It's so important, those two things together. It's not... Yoga is not just for the body, it's for the mind. And it tells them they have to go outside and get sunshine yes, and grow yes. and not sit on a couch yes, and watch TV. Yes, <laughs> yes, and drink plenty of water. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Angela, let's take us over here and see what the kids are doing. All Thanks, right. Jay. Sure. So right now the kids are coloring um, what's called a mandala. Okay. And mandala can be used in a form of meditation. Most people think of meditation as just sitting still. Oh. Well, for children, um, coloring is a great way for them to focus and concentrate and just kind of let go of things that they're holding on to in their minds and just allow them to be free. So that is one of the classes that we will be offering at Ohana Fest. And you know, I know coloring has gotten really popular with adults too. Yes. Yeah, because of, I guess, because of the same thing that you're telling right. me about with the kids, right? Right, it's uh, amazing. Okay, <laughs> so let's see uh, them do some moves. They got some yoga moves. Hey kids, you guys wanna do some yoga? Why don't you show, okay, we'll do it anyway. Why don't you show me some of the, watch out. Why don't you show me some of the yoga moves, okay? All right, guys, are Here. you ready? Oops, Mitchell, I'm sorry. Ryder. Can you sit right next, stand right next to me, please? Go ahead, come put on. it in there. Put it in there, buddy. Right here. You're so independent. I yes, love that. let's stand right here. Okay. Everybody get on their mats. Mitchell, can you stand up for me? Okay. Are you guys ready? Let's reach up high and hang down low and touch our toes. Really stretch out. Put our hands on the ground and kick our feet back. Ooh. Good. <laughs> nice Good and job. strong here. We're going to lower down, touch our bellies to the ground. And can everybody breathe? Bring your elbows in really tight and look up at the sun. Nice. Okay. Now curl the toes under and downward dog. I love it. Now can I hear everybody take a nice deep breath in and get some fresh oxygen in? Breathe. Can I hear it? Side out. All right, let's bend our knees. Hop forward. And really reach up high and touch the sky and bring our hands back down to our hearts. Very nice. So that is one sun salutation. Wow. And if how many times a day should we do that, guys? Ten. Ten. That gives mm -hmm. us a nice full body workout. Mm -hmm. It's a good for stretching and good for everything else. You guys ready for some warriors? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Do some warriors. All right. So let's <laughs> take one leg back. Reach up high, bend down to the bend your front knee, bend it forward, Emma. Good job. Look up high. And on the count of three, I want everybody to say, I am brave. Ready? One, two, three. I am brave. Yes. Good. Let's open up nice and wide. Bend into your front knee. Other way, Harrison. Other way. Good. Other way, Harrison. <laughs> we'll do a revolved yeah. warrior. So while you still take that, Jody, tell us when the event is. Yeah. And so the event is April 28th and 29th out at Hunt Club Farm. It's and a 28-acre um, family-owned and operated farm. It has everything, um, just beautiful stuff. It's got uh, a huge pond. We're doing paddleboard yoga. There is a um, petting zoo. 
for all of the kids. We'll have bouncy houses. We will have face painting, um, yummy food trucks, which are vegan and vegetarian oh, friendly because Cheryl. diet is very important to a lot of our yogis. But again, we just want people to come out and experience the day. The weather is looking beautiful. So just come out, be with us, spend time with your family, get off of your devices and see what else the community has to offer. We have a, a lot of artisans that are coming out to display their paintings and just all of their beautiful stuff. So. Wonderful. Okay, you're going to help me take it to the break. Still ahead on Coast Live, it takes guts to climb the tallest mountain in the world.